This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says if x lies between 0 and 1 but does not equal 0 or 1, which of these is correct? So before we look at our answer choices, I'm actually going to write the solution myself. Again, the problem tells us x is between 0 and 1, but it does not equal 0 or 1. So this is what our solution is going to look like. In other words, we're going to solve all these inequalities uh, for our answer choices and find which one matches the solution we just wrote. So let's start with A. A says 1 is less than x minus 1, which is less than 2. Again, to solve this inequality, we have to add 1 to both sides of the inequality. In doing so, this crosses out, leaving us with x here. 1 plus 1 is uh, 2. 2 plus 1, of course, is 3. This says x is between 2 and 3, so it is not correct. I'm going to skip to c to see what we get when we solve uh, c. This is negative 1 is less than 2 minus x, which is less than 1. Again, we're solving for x, so the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 2 from both sides of the inequality. In doing so, this crosses out, leaving us with negative x in the middle. Uh, negative 1 minus 2 is going to be negative 3. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Now we have negative x in the middle here. To make this just x, we're going to divide everything by negative 1, of course. Now the one rule you have to know regarding inequalities is this. Whenever you multiply or divide across an inequality sign by a negative value, that's going to prompt you to change the direction of the sign. So in this case, I divided across these inequality signs by a negative value of 1. So that's going to prompt me to change the direction of the signs. And I'll go ahead and make that very obvious. Negative x divided by negative 1. Again, a negative divided by negative is going to be a positive. Negative divided by a negative is going to be a positive 3. Negative divided by a negative is going to be a positive 1. So this says x is in between uh, 1 and 3, which is not correct. So we know c is not correct. Let's go ahead and take a look at b. We have 1 less than x plus 1, which is less than 2. To solve this one, we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. In doing so, this crosses out, leaving you with, with x in the middle. Uh, 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 minus 1 is 1. This does, in fact, match our solution. So we know the correct answer to this one is b. And we do not have to check d, of course.